Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, PDE inhibitors, or phosphodiesterase inhibitors, such as Viagra, Cialis, uh, Levitra, uh, and whether or not they can actually be used to build muscle. And this is actually a pretty interesting uh, topic. There are a number of athletes that have been using uh, these drugs for a while, and uh, I have gotten a number of questions. Do they, uh, do they build muscle? And I'll try to answer that as best I can, but like a lot of these things, uh, definitive answers are not uh, there. Uh, there's a number of interesting effects that PD inhibitors have that may uh, lead to improvements in muscle growth. Uh, there has been studies showing improvements in endurance, uh, increases in testosterone, uh, possibly improvements in uh, protein synthetic rates after workouts and such, which on paper would lead one to believe that uh, it should help increase muscle mass. But the studies are actually kind of all over the place. That is, there have been a number of studies done that did not find improvements in endurance, did not find improvements uh, in hormones. There have been uh, some studies also show possible negatives. That was uh, increase in testosterone, but also increases in cortisol. So the picture is not clear. I will tell you that uh, using PDE inhibitors is actually fairly common practice among certain athletes. I know in the NFL, it's not uncommon. Uh, I know in some endurance athletes use it. Uh, it's interesting to note that the studies, uh, people in low oxygen areas like mountain climbers, uh, that type of thing, uh, it's probably beneficial. And I suspect the reason that studies are all over the place uh, with these drugs is likely that it, ha it has to do with the condition you're already in to begin with. If somebody is healthy, they have uh, no problem with their NO production, nitric oxide production, they are generally have no problem with blood flow, that type of thing. It's unlikely to make a big difference, which makes sense, which is the reason, of course, we all know what people, uh, men, men use Viagra for in the first place, is uh, it helps with blood flow to certain areas. So my, my suspicion is the reason that you see, you see this wide range of, of effects in the studies, as I say, the, depending on the pre-existing condition of the person using it, it's going to help. And there are studies looking, uh, currently looking at the use of PD inhibitors for certain diseases, such as wasting diseases, uh, such as muscular fatigue, muscular, muscular atrophy and stuff, and they might be beneficial to those people. Uh, whether they're really going to do uh, anything for a, a healthy uh, person in good condition, you know, probably not, but uh, like I say, it's not uncommon uh, for bodybuilders to take PD inhibitors, usually Viagra because it's short acting, uh, before workouts. Uh, I've heard, you know, and the feedback is, is generally they notice an improved pump. Um, I haven't really heard anybody say, you know, they gain muscle from it per se, but they do feel that uh, there's an improved pump uh, while working out, uh, which is a different issue, which of course the question is, does the pump actually have anything to do with muscle growth? And, you know, uh, again, early data says not really. Uh, there may be something to it, but again, that's a whole other topic. Uh, side effects, if in normal healthy people, there doesn't appear to be any real risk of any major side effects. Uh, if you are someone who is on drugs for uh, blood pressure medication and some other drugs, that may be something you need to look into uh, run by your doctor. If you were ever to uh, try something like that for endurance, uh, it's not going to do anything for strength directly, but again, muscular endurance, uh, reduced fatigue, uh, increased blood flow uh, might be the result. And But there really needs, as far as does Viagra or, or Cialis or whatever actually lead to increased muscle growth in weightlifting athletes, you know, a complete unknown. Uh, it's probably going to help more, again, with endurance athletes, uh, people with muscular fatigue, wasting diseases, that type of thing. So, again, uh, direct absolute answers are not there, but uh, on paper, there might be something to it. Uh, and, again, uh, I don't recommend you run out and do that because these are, of course, prescription medications. But if you happen to have some lying around and uh, you want to try it, typical doses have been... 12.5 uh, to 25 milligrams in about an hour, 30 minutes before a workout, 40 you know, to an hour before a workout. That's pretty common. And uh, if you have tried it or you do try it and you want to give me some feedback, I'd be happy to hear it. I will also link uh, some of the studies uh, regarding uh, the effects of PD inhibitors on some of the things discussed uh, right here. And you can take a little quick look at those if you want and uh, sub up to this page. As you can see, I cover topics uh, in a science-based, objective manner, you may not get anywhere else. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.